you like the channel. This is like the sim making mode on The Sims. You can spend ages on this. Yes, definitely. And I like working from height maps because it makes the start just a little bit easier. Otherwise, it's just one flat green sheet of nothingness. And it's very hard to make something like this look so organic if you are not working from height maps, I think. Unless you're a true artist, of course. Yes, I did share the last one. Almost no trees. Is that a desert? This is the beach, yeah. No trees on the beach. Awesome. Okay, so what we need next, or we don't really need it. The only things we actually need are an incoming and outgoing highway connection, but I'll do those last. Um, but some fertile areas and stuff would be nice. Um, so you have three different resources in city skylines. You have ore, you have oil, and you have fertile land. And of course you have the trees where you can do some lumber industry. Um, I'm gonna make some farming area. Where shall I make it? What would be a nice... I think inland here could be good, or we could use this for ore. Or oil. Um, I think I want to have my farming industry here. And it's the same, just paint it on. And this is now fertile land. It's quite a big big spot of fertile land. And same goes um, with like the right mouse button, you can um, remove it and left mouse button, just paint it on. It should also show up here in this view, quite clearly. So that's quite a huge fertile area, which um, many players will enjoy. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you want to. I'm gonna make some ore around here. This is much more difficult to see, because it's quite a sort of greyish colour. On the mountain. So someone can make like a completely heavily polluted ore industry right there. Hey Elbin Cake, how you doing? How you doing? So to check that, that's a huge ore area that may be much too big, but remember that part of this is outside the playable area. So that white line is the playable area. Players may not even go there. Uh, starting tile, they may choose to go completely on the farming side with a 3x3 grid this way, or maybe just a strange L-shape. Sh um, but I always want to make some like really nice large areas to uh, give players some choice. I'm thinking of putting some oil on top here. Um, I don't really want to put oil anywhere else. Uh, I can put some here at the edge. Okay, so it looks like this actually replaced, so you cannot have two resources at the same time. That's interesting. Um, I'm actually going to remove all of this and just redo it a little bit. So I'm going to have my ore here. I'm just going to make this the ore and oil island. And have... Wait, I'm... Do oh. I thought I had that one selected. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to see what you're doing. Oil. Yep, that should be good. Look at that. So we have some oil or very big farm area people can just get some lumber going there or just build some beach houses there. Let me catch up with chat for a second. Overall thoughts on this game? I'm so tempted to buy it. I love it. It's really good. It's really good. Um, I love this map editor because you can make your own maps. You can make your own... You can remake your own area, basically. Um, and then, of course, building cities on it is very... Uh, it's a good... A lot of fun. You have a headache and a fever. That's not good, Elbling Cake. Flu? I'm doing well myself, thanks for asking. 
Um, exactly what Novex says. If you like this kind of games, you will start to play it, then you look at your watch and it's almost morning. You got SimCity 5 and you were very disappointed. I think you will like this game. If you're into city builders, you will like this game. Yeah. A thousand hours in city builders, full board on. Wow. It does need some, like, there will be patches in this game, definitely. Um, they are already aware of some issues that people have reported on, so. Sounds like a purchase? Awesome. Hey, JL. No, I'm not doing a dedicated YouTube video, but I will be putting this stream up on YouTube, so you will be able to uh, watch it later. If you type exclamation mark YouTube, you'll get a link to my YouTube channel. Okay. So, all we need now is some outside connections. Otherwise, people will not be able to move in. Oh, that's not good, Jesse. I hope your mum will... Um, get better soon and doctors will find out what's wrong exactly okay I think what I don't like about the um, overlay well the overlay just shows you where everything is that's that's fine but if you s turn it off you still have these blotches and patches which I don't really like but oh well cool okay so we should make some connections. I'm gonna do the easy ones first. Plain. I've never actually built um, a plane. I was gonna say a plane station. <laughs> An airport. So I'm not quite sure how that works. But what I usually tend to do is just make a crisscross of planes across the map. And then hopefully that will work with the airport. Um, ships can come in this way. So you can have a maximum of four connections. Uh, let's get another one. So this is connected now. Yep. Um, so this will allow you to build uh, harbors. And you don't need to connect it to the land anywhere as far as I know because your harbors will just find this line and uh, connect to it. Uh, I'm gonna bring this in that a little bit more. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit more. There we go, so that's our ship connections. We have one, two, three ship connections used. We could put in another because why not? Hey Astral, how you doing? How you doing? A plane station, yeah. <laughs> Airport is rather useless, it only draws tourists. Oh, okay. I am hoping they will improve tourism a little bit, because I did like that aspect of SimCity um, 5. There are ferries to Ireland, nice. So people can actually sort of try and recreate that a little bit. So we have train as well. Don't have to put that in. One thing we do need to put in is um, an incoming and outgoing highway connection. So this is basically the same way as how you would draw roads in um, the normal game when you're in the, playing the normal game. Um, since this will be the starting tile, there will need to be some connections here. So I can put in one of these guys. Can put it in this way. Uh, how do I want to do this? Good question. Um, I can put in one of these as well. That could be good. I want to have two little stubby roads come in that way. I can, of course, leave a part of this clover leaf open and not connect any roads and have the player do that themselves. I 
So remember, right click will turn it. Uh, holding right click and dragging will um, allow you to turn it a bit more precisely. Did I have to put in different kinds of highway connection slash exits? Uh, when when you're doing a map editor, then this is all you got to work with, basically. The city specializations, yeah, I I did kind of like that about um, SimCity for sure. So. So th this looks like a nice spot for um, various reasons. I will be able to create some stubby legs there into the first starting tile. I will be able to connect it up to that part, um, to the outside world, really, just going outside the map. And players will be able to connect this up however they want. They can connect a bridge there, or they can make a little roundabout there to get traffic in that way. Um, so there we go. We just need to make sure. We just need to make sure it's straight. There we go. So, one of the problems here is that you really need to do your best to actually make it even. Of course you don't have to, but it just makes it easier for people to start building on this map. There we go. So that doesn't look completely even, but there are some tricks you can use to make it even. Can I remember those though? There was something about... Ah, okay, so the problem here is that it won't really snap to a straight position there. Which is what I was looking for doesn't snap to a straight position. Um, yeah, that doesn't really work. So this one is still a little bit longer. People will just have to deal with that. <laughs> That's my answer. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember it, but I, d I don't think it really works if you don't have the snap to grid thing. It won't allow me, like, won't let me draw a straight line there, for some reason. Why is it making a... that's kind of odd. Yeah, I think you need different row types for this to work, full redound. I've sent you a PM when you get five minutes. Uh, would you like me to uh, um, read it now? Or can it wait till after the stream? Pull a road from the highway, remove everything except the last part, so you get a perfect grid. Yes, that's what I posted yesterday. But it doesn't like it doesn't let me build a straight road from the highway for some reason. Um, because it's a highway, and it, highways don't work like that. They don't have ninety degree angles, I guess. Just a list of dates to choose from. I see. Okay, awesome. I'll have a look at that. Dates for a very special project, Jesse. Yeah. No, from the intersection. What? So, you're saying I need to make this intersection. But I cannot draw any roads from here because space is already occupied. Uh, the problem with the map editor is that you only have your highways available. Let's connect these up to the outside world. Um, we can do that in a long straight or go all creative. The problem with going all creative is that I will end up crooked, probably, possibly. The problem is that it's difficult to kind of get a feeling for when it actually snaps straight. So I'll probably have to do it on a smaller scale. Okay. 
So since there's a lot of um, since there's a lot of trees on this map already, players will not be able to plop an unlimited number of trees. We're almost at the tree limit. Uh, which can be a disadvantage. Oh no! I did that entire thing in this! No. Now I need to upgrade all of it. Oh well. That's my mistake. Sorry about that, guys. Hold and drag works. There's a little hilly bit there. Interesting. Of course, you can make this uh, raised or lowered the highway as well if you wanted to. But I tend to make it just like stick to the ground. It will look funny in some places because there will be hills. Look at that. That's not a very. That's quite a steep part. But people are okay. We'll be okay. What are you planning to take over the world? Yes. You pull both roads from the start intersection, creating a perfect grid. Then you remove one of those roads except the small part of it, then drag a road back to the intersection from that road and the grid will be perfect. Oh, that's... that w Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. That's something different than what I was um, thinking about. Uh, but it shouldn't be too hard to get this right. Just need to make sure we're on um, sort of starting at the same distance away from that. Um, straight road, please. Oh, it won't snap to grid. Okay, I'm gonna do it your way. But that means lying an entire road. Luckily, you don't have to worry about monies. So this is the tip that Full Border gave. Uh, I do realize I'm drawing this in the wrong direction, but I will fix that soon enough. So what you want to do is... Is that straight-ish? That's outside of the editing area. Why will that not work? That is very annoying. I know it's outside the editing area. But that's where I need to go to connect it up. Silly game. So this can be a bit of a pain in the ass to do that. Lazy is right, taking over the world. <laughs> Lotso will be the mascot. Elephant Teddy, nice. That's cute. Don't actually know why I'm not able to. Okay, that's not good. That's kind of buggy. And that one just seems to be floating. Nice! Well done, game. At least players do actually zoom in on this part. Because this is outside the buildable area. You need to keep one part of that road. I just created. Basically, I can just go from there. That should work now. Hopefully this works. There we go. That way they're nice and parallel. Chirper keeps reminding me that I actually need an incoming and an outgoing connection. I know Chirper, I know. Don't worry, Chirper. I'll make it work. So this is not the most fun part of creating a map. 
but it has to be done. Of course, otherwise the map will not be playable. I don't know what that was. There we go, that should be the end. That's connected, it's just this last bit here that I need to draw. There we go. So we have one incoming, one outgoing road connection. I can um, make more if I wanted to. Uh, I'm going to leave this part up to the player, I think. Um, I'm just, I'll just draw a little bit and make it a nice loop. I'm doing it in a very silly way, I know. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, there's no undo there. But this way you know they're parallel. Ah, that won't work. Never mind, I'll just eyeball it. There we go. So that's a nice loop. Oh, and it's up to the player then to uh, start from here and make it work somehow. Um, it's quite difficult. I can actually draw draw it all the way over there if I wanted to, to make it either easier or harder. Just the way I, how you look at it. Um, I can actually also make another incoming connection this way. Um, but I don't think I need to. This should be enough. Perfectionist, I know, I know. Okay, Jesse, sorry I missed you saying goodbye. See you later, and thanks for uh, thanks for joining and um, giving me some knowledge on uh, Anglesey. There's better ways to make them parallel, but I can't be arsed to type it out. Look it up on Reddit. Yeah, I know there's the Stubbs uh, way, but that's usually used to when you're drawing um, your curved roads. Um, but yeah, what I'm missing in a map editor is a little bit of a better sort of snap thing. But of course you don't you don't get the grids on here because you cannot actually build off of highways. Like, you cannot zone next to highways. Hey Syndicate, how you doing? Ali's not moving. No, I'm moving to Scotland. I'm the one moving Alvin Cake. Yep, some changes have happened. Okay, um, I think this should be enough for now, uh, we don't really, I, d I thought of doing another one there, but honestly I just can't be bothered, so that will be up to the player to sort out. Um, I am gonna get a nice train line in here, um, that's just easy, easy. Can we do it? Ooh, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, I can make it go... I can... Ah, I can make a nice bendy bend. Okay. Uh, it's very difficult to see. So I'm just warning you. Um, it's very difficult to spot that train line once you plopped it down. It looks like a nice scenic ride there. Look at that. Hilly. That'll be interesting. Interesting train ride. At least it's in a playable area now. Um, I've never played with uh, trains before in this game. I'm pretty sure you should be able to. Oops. I kind of wanted, wanted it to bend this way. I'm not sure if I should add any more, to be honest. Can't imagine why you guys would prefer Scotland over Holland. Uh, cost. Cost of living, JJ Crib. That's not, of course, the only consideration, but it's, like, twice as expensive to rent here. So, yeah. Um, should I get some more train in here? 
I wonder if you can make like a nice train intersection there. No, that doesn't seem to work. enough okay so I guess it's up to the player there to decide what he wants to do with that uh, I can curve it over back towards the exit there it's not a bad idea not the worst idea I've ever had make that a straight one so I'm not quite sure how far apart these guys are. It must be. Oh yeah, cool. So it basically goes. Oh, it's so difficult to see this. There we go. No, 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 that's not it. It would be nice if the thing was highlighted as well. Oh, that's. I think they can they can improve on this because it's very difficult to see that train light. Lazy is my sister. Yes. So she's Dutch too. Yeah. Should have known that. It's all right. Uh, so it curves in here, the train line. Um, it then curves back out, but it can come. Trains can come and go here, this way, and curve back out with a nice little train bridge. It's a tiny train bridge, um, and it curves back out. Some people prefer elevated rails everywhere. Um, people can just change that once they get they get the tiles. They unlock the tiles necessary for this. So in the starting tile, there will definitely not be any real. Um, probably like two or three tiles in, people can start building some real connections. Yes, I'm awesome. We all knew that already. <laughs> she already has a boyfriend, JJ Crib, so that's not going to happen. I think we're done. Um... We have everything! We checked all the boxes. The only thing that we need to do now is um, save it, obviously. Uh, set the starting tiles. What you can do here near the maps at the map settings tab, you can select a starting tile. I'm going to stick to that one. I can also set it to this, which would not be... Well, it can be... People will just need to build off from the highway. I'm not sure if that's even possible if you don't have those stubby stubs. So this will be a perfect starting tile. I'm gonna snap some pictures as well. Um, one top down is always nice. Picture. Blammo. One from uh, looking out over the starting tile really. There's not much to see because it's quite flat. Um, and one from up close. That's three pictures. I'm going to then save this map as Anglesey. Map name Anglesey. Um, I will use the top down picture. Um, Obviously it doesn't actually look like what Anglesey looks like, but it's like an approximation, I guess you can say. Um, I can publish the map in a new game panel and save it. There we go. Okay. So what we want to do now is go into our main menu. Second language acquisition. Nice. That's very interesting, JJ Crib. That's very cool. You have to have water in a start. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I forgot about that, KW. Okay, so we have our content manager with our maps. Um, this version of Honolulu I can basically delete because it wasn't very good. Um, 
And I would like to share the angle scene map I just made, and that's super easy. You just click the share, get the workshop type, put the workshop title in, give a short description. This map is based off a height map of the Anglesey area, Wales, UK, from the terrain dot party website no change notes yet publish and it's just basically give it some time to upload it and then it should be on the workshop yeah I've been working on it for a year and a half um, lazy it has been about on her thesis you got appendicitis not good Good. Okay, so it should uh, it should be on the workshop now. It will open up nice. It will open up the um, Steam overlay, and you can see it's on the workshop. I'm gonna favorite this, of course, because it's mine. So anyone can now subscribe to this. You can find this by searching the workshop for Anglesey, um, or maybe even searching the workshop for my items. I'm not quite sure if you can do that. Probably. We already got one unique visitor. That's me. Um, and I can share this on Twitter and Facebook, obviously, by just copy-pasting this link.